climax of this video. The acclaim of one of the all-time great SA Cup ties. It's another head-on meeting of the Merseyside Giants in the fifth round of the Cup in 1991. Both sides bidding for a place in the quarter-final. As we join this match, there already been one game, Everton had achieved an excellent goal of score at Anfield. Now, they have Liverpool back at Luton and a great chance to turn back to their advantage. Liverpool had won the first match, a league encounter, 3-1, and they'd drawn 0-0 in the cup three days prior to this replay. This turned out to be Kenny Dalglish's last game in charge of Liverpool, a match that turned out to be one of the greatest FA Cup ties of all time. Everton recalled Mike Newell to partner Graham Sharp up front in the Scotsman's testimonial year. Peter Beardsley made a first start for Liverpool since December. It had been a frustrating season for him, but then again, he had scored 11 times in 14 appearances. Your commentator, Tony Gubber. So Liverpool kick off this fifth round FA Cup replay, the 172nd meeting between these two Merseyside rivals. Liverpool manager Kenny Dalglish choosing to start tonight with Peter Beardsley up front, chosen in place of David Speedy, who scored two in the league win over Everton just 11 days ago. Burrows is on in midfield to add a little bit of bite with McMahon out injured. Dalglish putting Staunton at left back. Everton have made changes too, but here come Peter Beardsley. Oh, what a good strike by the little man. And it's still loose. And Everton scrambling to clear their penalty area. And Peter Beardsley showing what he's capable of, making his first start for Liverpool tonight for a long time. But here come Everton on the counter-attack, and that's... Glenn Hyson, who's headed that clear, has not gone out yet. And Liverpool scrambling in turn to clear their own penalty area, and what a pulsating star. Here's Barnes now on a run. Well, as you'd expect, a fantastic atmosphere for this replay. The winners will meet West Ham in the next round, but that seems a long way off at the moment. Oh, that's a loose ball. You can't really surrender possession to, to Beardsley. Rush trying to lay it back into the path of John Barnes. Here's Beardsley again. Good pressure from Liverpool. Good deep cross. And Stevie Nichols stretching out a leg but couldn't control it. And this is that effort from Peter Beardsley. He was wonderfully struck by the England international who really feels that he's got a point to prove tonight to Kenny Dalglish. And Rush almost poaching from the loose ball. Everton have got Mike Newell up front tonight to partner Graham Sharp to add a little bit of aerial threat at set pieces and here's a chance of a decent cross knocked back by Sharp to Ebrill oh that was a good chance for Everton good deep cross by Hinchcliffe Sharp who knocked it back and Ebrill knows that he could have done better Rush on the chase, Radcliffe is there, oh he's dispossessed him, Rush is in on Neville Southall here, Beardsley's in support as well, Rush off the line by Hinchcliffe, but Beardsley, yes! Liverpool draw first blood, and Neville Southall wearily to his feet, and Peter Beardsley, and they profited really from the initial mistake by Kevin Radcliffe, Rush able to run in unchallenged on Neville Southall, waited and waited, Southall stayed on his feet and then the clearance on the line by Hinchcliffe but Peter Beardsley to volley it back well Everton are going to have to come from behind if they're to continue their progress in this season's FA Cup and Neil Midgley, the referee, decides free kick, taken quickly. Newell, cross to McDonald. Well, he struck it well, but it wasn't a, a serious test of Bruce Grobelar in Liverpool's goal. Handball. Everton have made a substitution at half-time. Atterveld replaced by McCall. Here's Nevin. McDonald, good deep cross. Good defensive header too, but there's still pressure here for Liverpool to deal with. Sharp! It's 1-1! And 
Graham Sharp gets the equaliser two minutes into the second half. And that's the aerial threat that Howard Kendall wanted Sharp and Newell to exploit. And it's brought Everton's equaliser. So Everton back on level terms in front of their own crowd. Every incentive now to push on perhaps for that place in the sixth round. They can't afford to give the ball away cheaply. This is Mulby. Harassed and hassled by McCall, but Liverpool keep possession well. Now here's Beardsley. Always danger when Beardsley's in possession. Drifts onto his left foot. Beardsley! Oh, that's fantastic! What a brilliant strike by Peter Beardsley. The man who couldn't get a place in Liverpool's starting 11 under Kenny Dalglish has responded with two goals in this cup tie. Bouncing off Neville, moving wide to get free of the defenders, and there's nothing Southall could do about it. Well, Everton have got to fight back again if they're to stay alive in this season's competition. Peter Beardsley in glorious form. It's an awkward bounce, a misunderstanding. Nichols put it in the back of Sharp. It's 2 2. And some Everton supporters are on the pitch, and you can understand why. It's just the pressure through the middle, really, which has caused Liverpool to make this mistake. Nickel trying to lay it back to Grobola. A complete misunderstanding, and it's a gift. Cause for thought for Kenny Dalglish. Liverpool punished because of a soft centre in their defence. Here's John Barnes. What magic can he weave? Good cross. Southall got a fingertip on it. And that's going to be corner. Tyson forward for the corner. Here's Mulby. Rush! It's 3-2 Liverpool! Would you believe it? 77 minutes gone, and Ian Rush puts Liverpool back in front. And there's an inquest in the Everton defence. Southall didn't move. What a cup tie this is. Well, it's, it's worthy of these two adversaries. That's relentless, and it isn't over yet. Here's Beardsley. Barnes, now Liverpool can just keep possession and run off the clock. That'll be a Liverpool throw. And will it be Liverpool at Upton Park in the sixth round? It looks that way. Barnes, great feet. He's got Beardsley inside him. Oh, knocked right across the face of goal. Abdul getting back to his feet rather gingerly. Oh, it's going to be a Everton ball. Neil Midgley checks his watch. The whistles are, are ringing out in the crowd. What an evening it's been. What a cup time. The crowd just haven't noticed the steady drizzle. There's been so much going on on the field. And have we seen the last of the drama? Well, you wouldn't bet against it. Everton have shown great resilience to twice come back from a goal behind. Southall gets it downfield quickly. Liverpool have got to keep concentration. They haven't. Cott is in there. Just on as a substitute. And it's 3-3. What an inspired substitution by Howard Kendall, putting Cotty on with four minutes left, and he sniffed out another equaliser. But again, you'd have to ask questions of that Liverpool defence. But surely now, this fifth round replay is heading into extra time. Well, how deep are the pockets on Merseyside? If they don't sort it out in these next 30 minutes, we'll have another match. You have to take your hat off to Everton's fighting spirit.
pass in midfield. The pass from Hutton just be very grateful. He got to be tremendously alert because he's just too close to him. Barnes. He looks like Thriller. We pause only for the briefest of breaths 